seen the confidence on this on this team grow from week one until now? I think it grows every week. Um, you know, as disappointing as Sunday was, and you know, Philly being the team that they are, really good team, great defense, great offense, complement each other well. One of the better teams in the NFL, arguably the best. You know, I think when we turned on the tape with how bad that we played, you know, a lot of it's self-inflicted. And you know, like I said, as as bad as it hurt on Sunday, you know, those are things that you can fix. Um, and that's the good thing about it. You know, it's when there's problems that you can't really fix, whether it's lack of talent, lack of effort, you know, toughness. You know, those are all things that, you know, are hard to fix, you know, but for us, it's just execution, not shooting ourselves in the foot. So, you know, I think for us, it's, it's another way to just kind of keep growing that confidence and, you know, believe in that we can play with anybody. You can probably say both of those losses were basically self-inflected, points you guys kind of left out on the field. And Doug kind of said, you know, there's no moral victories and there's still time to fix it because it's early in the year, but right. you got to fix those problems now because you'll look up and all of a sudden you're toward the end of the season. Are you starting to feel a little bit more urgency from the coaching staff and from guys to kind of get those problems figured out and fixed? Yeah, you know, it's, you know, four games in, going into week five, and so now teams, you know, they have four games of film on us, you know, at least offensively, you know, we're a new offense. So your first four weeks, you're still working out some things, still trying to find out your identity. And, you know, we know that now. De uh, defenses know that now for us. So, you know, there's kind of, uh, there's, a, there's an expectation for us to perform, you know, at our best and to our standard every Sunday. So, you know, we're definitely looking to just kind of keep increasing, you know, because the good teams, they start getting better as the season goes on. And we want to be one of those teams. Do you feel like teams have a better idea of how they want to use you on offense now? Um, you know, Press and Doug, they do such a great job moving me around. And each week there's a little new wrinkle, whether it's a formation or I'm going into the backfield or just different things. So, you know, they always find a way. I think, uh, you know, defense are starting to key a little bit more on it and we're starting to take advantage of it, whether, you know, I'm, over, you know, being bait or I'm the you know primary target, you know, on a certain play. So, you know, they're just, uh, you know, going to keep developing ways and I'm going to trust in them and keep putting me in, in good positions to be successful. Do those little wrinkles get you excited as a player? Oh, yeah, you love it. You know, you love, you know, coming in today, coming in tomorrow, third downs and red zone and seeing, you know, what they got planned for you. So uh, it's definitely exciting. And, you know, you just got to work on it all week to make it happen on Sunday. We always hear the term flush it. And, and after a game, you got to flush it and get on to the next one. Yeah. What does that look like for you? I know you've been in the league for a while. Yeah. So how, how do you, is there a show that you watch? Is there, like, uh, something, you, an activity you do? How do you flush games? Huh? Yeah, you know, I, Sunday, I let it. I let it hurt. Like you know, I let it sting. You know, because I think it's good for you. You know, because if you didn't care, then you know you wouldn't be here. And so for me, uh, this is my life. I care. You know, more than anyone. So I let it sting. And then um, Monday, I take it to reflect, learn. What can I learn from that game? And then Tuesday, it's flush. And Tuesday is a great day because it's your off day. So. I'm usually watching golf or, you know, hanging out with my dog and my fiance, just like totally disconnecting my mind. You know, I come in here, get my body right, and then I, you know, try to put everything away that is involved with football and just, you know, live my personal life, do things that I like to do. And, you know, it's usually just in the confinements of my home and, you know, hanging around my loved ones and whatnot. So I think that's good. And then when we get in here Wednesday, you know, it's, it's back to work. But I think it's super important to really kind of unplug for that one day and then uh, kind of re refresh your mind, refresh your body, and then get back right. Have you gotten a chance to look at this Texas defense yet? Yeah, I have, have definitely got a chance. Um, you know, we, we definitely dove into it today. And they're fast, you know, fast defense, fast flow. They're young and, you know, they have some talent. And so those guys play hard. Um, you know, I played them last year and, you know, felt the same way. You know, the guys high effort and they're able to make some plays and capitalize on some opportunities. So, um, you know, we're definitely looking to, to, you know, schematically take advantage of some things. But, you know, this week of prep is going to be big for us. And, you know, we got to come out firing on Sunday. Um, Doug, uh, obviously, puts an emphasis on the division. Um, I don't know if you saw Vegas as you guys as the favorite now to win the division. I know it's only a few games in, but is it a different feeling going into this game as opposed to the Colts, knowing that there's a bit of a target on your guys' back now? Not really. I mean, every divisional game for us is going to be huge. And so I feel the same way as we did when we played the Colts, and I'm going to feel the same way when we play the Titans, you know. These games are big for us, and it's big for you know our goal and our vision of making it to the postseason. And so, you can't definitely can't take these one lightly. And um, you know we're gonna do everything like I, like I said to get ready and make sure that we're firing you know on all cylinders on Sunday.